Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 30th, 2023. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, got a lot of good rest, because we have a wild and crazy week ahead of us with lots of earnings and economic events uh, coming up to create some uncertainty. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here, we, we continued that relentless bullish push here uh, on Friday, um, just driving and driving and driving to the upside, but we ran into just a little bit of trouble here by the end of the day on the di diamonds. Now, clearly we had kind of a volatile day as we whipsawed, um, um, here again um, on the day with some selling that came in and then they bought it, brought it right back. And it seems like lately what's been occurring here in the market is as soon as we get any kind of bearish activity in the market, it is immediately bought up as those institutions continue to run higher. It seems like the um, computer algorithms are just in buy mode and they continue to push forward. The other thing we have to think about is a lot of the companies are starting to come out from under their buyback blackout period and um, we may even see those uh, pushing into the market here this week. So watch that carefully. There is that potential that every selling move could bring um, on additional buyers. Now, if those bears were to actually continue this engagement this morning and pull back, and there may be some reason for that looking at the indicators because we are overbought in the short term of the market, um, then we would look for some price supports right down in here. As you can see right here in the diamonds, um, a pullback into here would not be out of the question and it really wouldn't change anything in the chart at all. As a matter of fact, we could pull all the way back down into this downtrend here, uh, or excuse me, into this uptrend line here in the chart. Now that would be a big point move and albeit a very painful point move in some selling and probably raise some uncertainty in the market. But that doesn't hurt the technical picture of this wedging pattern here yet. So as I've been mentioning here, this is a very dangerous market because of the volatility. As you can see, these are massive point moves that are occurring between these points. And if that continues, while well, that um, risk kind of shortens up or decreases slightly if we continue to wind up in this wedging pattern. So watch that closely. Now for me, I'll be a much more bullish and feel much more comfortable if we can finally prove a breakout on one side or the other of that and then a hold that would set up that directional position in the market. If the bulls find inspiration today um, and do come right back in with this early morning sell-off happening, then I would look for a test right up in here. You see, we tried to make that move happen on Friday, just lacked a little bit of energy to do that. And you can see right here in the volume, just wasn't really there. Um, on the day. Now, what was interesting is we continued to see that bullish press into uh, the tech sector, and that really helped um, this spy. Now, the reason I say that's interesting is just simply because we have such a big week of big market moving earnings, and I'm surprised, honestly surprised, to see that the bulls continue to have that wild speculation going into these earnings events. Um, particularly with the issues and things that we continue to see out there on economic conditions, not just here, but around the world. But that being said, the bulls were able to push through this downtrend at the end of uh, the week. And as you can see, that's been a long standing downtrend here in the chart. So there certainly is reason here to be hopefully bullish. And now the question is, 
will we hold this as a higher low after breaking through? Can we hold this as a higher low and actually see those bulls push on through? Just keeping in mind, once again, the very big danger that we show in this market because of the extension that we've seen here. Um, as I mentioned before, gap downs or bad market opens just tend to be a reason to buy here. We, we have those bearish whipsaws throughout the day and then the bulls just rush in. So remember that big gap down and selling morning day that we had in here after um, Microsoft kind of disappointed us, suggesting um, some tech softness moving ahead and yet just inspired the buyers to rush back into the market and we continued to stretch this move to the upside. So be a little bit careful because if we do have those bears engage and actually hold on, and there may be some reason again for that, um, then a drop back down into here, you'll notice that we have a little price support right in there that might catch. And if that doesn't catch, then we look at coming all the way back down here to catch that price support area in the chart, which would be a pretty big point move and would likely disappoint um, the market substantially if we were to fall back into that wedging pattern. Now, if we can push on through and those bulls find inspiration, I would look for this area right here to continue to be a substantial resistance area in the chart and may challenge us um, um, as, so watch that area up there if we can push on through and maybe test that upside resistance in the chart. QQQ was the big winner of the day and it continued to hold up as again, um, we continue this um, pretty, in my opinion, wild speculation on these earnings heading into these er um, tech big tech earnings reports. There is a um, a ravenous desire to buy up tech right now and stretch right up into these earnings reports. Um, um, that seems to be a very dangerous decision to me and nothing that I would do. But that being said, you can see the bulls continue to race here back up. Now, unfortunately, we have an interesting situation here in this chart. Notice how far we extended from this last little pushback here. And this was again with that Microsoft earnings that disappointed, we reacted negatively to price resistance, but then it instantly saw buyers come in here on that um, on that report. So we have really stretched the QQQ hard here and it does need a rest or pullback. This morning's pullback, the question is going to be, will we pull back into here and prove to hold? And I think there is that possibility with this um, relentless drive that we see here in the market. Notice that there's some price support in here as well. If they can hold that area in here, then the bulls would have some control. But I do think we need a bit of a rest. So be careful with racing or chasing um, straight into these trades. And remember, some of these big tech reports could reverse things very quickly. So make sure you have a plan to deal with that if you're loving or long tech. Now, keeping in mind that if the bears were to continue to push on through and if we were to break that um, that breakout resistance, we have a little price support down in here that would catch us pot perhaps. If that fails, well, I would say all bets are off and the bears may really engage in that circumstance. Now, keeping in mind, we pushed up here on Friday, we tested that resistance high and we and then uh, broke through it and then backed away. Um, but at the close of the day, a little bit of price, uh, I'm, I'm guessing just a little bit of profit taking, trying to get away from a little bit of the risk in this extension. So if we can push on through this level here, well, where do we go? If we look up in the chart, I think the next resistance level might be right up in this area of that chart. So watch carefully for that if we can continue to see those bulls push on through to the upside. And then if we look at our IWM, IWM, also we ran up here, um, we've been banging our head against this door, trying to break down this resistance barrier here in the chart. And on Friday, well, we, we continue to hold that, um, that level up here. Now, uh, why I probably need to redefine that line just a little bit more carefully, you can see that we tested, 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 couldn't quite break through and um, held it into the close. So what we have going on here in the, 
um, IWM is that breakout that I've talked about where we break above, we hold the higher low, and then we've pushed on higher. Now, unfortunately, what we've got going on in here is a pretty darn steep trend. And steep trends like this can sometimes um, create uh, longer term consolidations or more painful pullbacks. So watch that carefully. Um, but if those bulls can continue to push on through, then let's see if they can break through um, this area here in the chart and really hold it as support. So break through and hold. And if we can maintain that steep, steepness of the upside trend, well, then, you know, here we go. Um, so watch that carefully. But if those bears were to come back into play and um, push just a little bit more, and again, I'm going to show you some reasons why that might be the case. But you can see if we were to push back into here, we've got quite a few little places that we could find some price support in that chart and then maybe even all the way down in here to find that price support. Now that would be kind of a painful pullback, but with the big earnings reports and things that we have coming, you know, anything is possible. So just watch that close. Let's take a quick look at our VIX. And this is what's been really interesting to me with the threat of recession, with the threat of the huge volatility in these options reports, there is no fear um, in this market. And I mean, um, no fear. It's just been really surprising to me as we continue to get economic reports that aren't that stellar. We we saw a bunch of reports last week that would suggest the Fed's going to continue raising rates. And yet, no fear, just buy something. And as you can see, we continue to push down in this area here. We did bounce a little bit at the close, as you notice. We kind of have a here, let me tighten this up just a little bit. Um, notice that we have maybe kind of a little bottom down in here where we have bounced off of those areas twice and that possibility that we push back up. But this morning with that bearishness coming in, I don't know that that's going to be enough to do much in damage here unless the bears really follow through. So maybe just to push back up in to follow that downtrend, I don't think we run into any major problems here unless we break this downtrend to the upside and start holding some higher levels of price support in the chart. The bulls seem to be in control um, to such an extent and, and they just have no concern about um, the issues moving forward here in the market. So bulls are in control, no doubt about it. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now they have been so in control here in the market and they have been so willing to push um, these markets into um, some pretty high levels here that we're running into this extreme overbought condition in the market. Our T2122 continues uh, to show that. You know, we had that little bit of softening coming in um, into Friday, and all that did was in, uh, pulled us back to 97.15 here. Now, there's never been a time when we put, pushed T2122 over 100 which means that we still have a little bit of upside opportunity. I've seen it be 100 before, but um, we also have lots of downside opportunity. We've got those bears stirring around this morning. So is it possible that those bears will show their teeth maybe just a little bit more here and relieve some of this selling pressure in the market and actually able to hold that selling pressure in the close? I can't say that to be true because what we've seen before is those big drops that come in the market just immediately inspire those institutional computers to buy, 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 pushing the market right back up. So if we get this gap down this morning and see those bears show weakness, well then I would expect those um, um, institutional CTAs to just push right back up and continue that buying surge. Now it could be very volatile, but if those bears were to push on through, then just keep in mind, we've got a pretty big opportunity for a pullback here, a pretty big point opportunity for a pullback. That doesn't mean everything collapses and everything turns bearish, just a big potential point move is possible. So as we wind down this month, it's going to be an interesting battle to see if those bulls can push through. Maybe they window dress the, the month here a little bit, continue that buying on any pullback here in the market, or maybe those bears push us down with that uncertainty 
of the FOMC meeting ahead. And then if we take a look at our T2107, I've been mentioning that T2107 and T2108, these are the percentage of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. And as you can see, we're reaching very extended conditions here in the chart. We pushed up hard on Friday here in this, and we're really pressing some levels here in the chart that are rare um, that they can hold very long. So keep that in mind as we press up, we probably are reaching a little bit of extension with that bearish move this morning that may relieve some of that pressure. And again, in T2108, same thing is true. Very rarefied area up here in the market. You can see going all the way back over here to 2018 and even 2017, it is unusual for us to push this high with 76% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. And notice that every time we push up into these levels, well, we usually get some kind of a pullback and sometimes that pullback can be painful. So watch carefully for that. Volumes on Friday were a little bit light, but our T2101 continues to show that momentum push, but we might be seeing maybe just ever so slightly a hint of that wavering. Notice that little little bend that we have right there and there. It might be wavering just a little bit. That might be giving that opening just a tiny little bit to those bears to, um, to provide a little relief to this upside condition. We'll see. Um, certainly not holding my breath for that, but I'll be watching carefully because I think selling could begin really at any time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar on the day is not a very big one. As you can see, we've got um, Dallas Fed manufacturing numbers. Those have been very, very bearish. And I don't expect that to change, but so far the market doesn't care if our manufacturing is very bearish they just don't care it's just hurry up and buy something and if we uh, take a look we've got a couple short-term bond auctions and we really haven't cared much about that either with that bond inversion that continues to point to recession in our market now keeping in mind as we move forward employment cost index we've got a case shiller coming in chicago pmi biggest number in there would be the consumer confidence for um for the uh, the month and as you can see we've got an FOMC meeting beginning tomorrow and then as we move forward well we're gonna have to be thinking about here carefully uh, about that FOMC announcement and the Fed chair's decision or conversation in here what's he going to say we do expect him to raise the interest rates by a quarter point but is he going to with those numbers that we saw last week that inflation being maybe stickier and maybe hotter than expected, um, will we see him say, hey, we're going to continue this process or will they start to back off? And I think that's the question here in the market. A lot of, a lot of the market is speculating that the Fed is going to suddenly back off and say, hey, we're going to stop raising rates. I haven't said that yet, but we'll see. We continue to get that narrative push in here, trying to inspire those buyers. Now, we're gonna have a busy day here, as you can see, PMI, ISM, construction spending job openings report, and that petroleum status, along with the ADP and the mortgage applications here. Busy day on Wednesday morning, and then a lot of volatility should be expected on that afternoon. And then we're gonna hit those jobless claims that continue to be a problem for us, productivity and cost factory orders, um, natural gas fed balance sheet and then that employment situation number on Friday so the big numbers this week are going to be probably right in here we're going to have to wait and see how those go and it's not unusual to see market be a little bit hesitant or pause just a little bit ahead of those kind of events so watch carefully and then let's see what do we have here on the earnings calendar for today well the earnings continue to ramp up it's not a big day today just keep in mind guys um, there's no way i can cover all the earnings reports 
that are be going to be coming our way. But I do try to cover some of the most notables here. So make sure you click that link right there below the title of the video um, in, in, on YouTube and that'll take you back to the morning blog. A couple of them that I will cover here really quickly here this morning because I'm running out of time. Um, uh, ben, uh, whoops. ben would be one you might want to keep an eye on. This is a nice little bullish pattern holding in here as this comes into its earnings. Bullishness coming into that chart this morning, so keep an eye on that. Uh, GGG um, will be reporting today a little bit of the opposite pattern here, that possible bearish flag pattern in here coming into its earnings. We're going to hear from um, NX, NXPI here today. Whoops. Here we go. NXPI, that's been racing up into its earnings report. And we've seen a lot of that here recently. Just no fear, just buy it right up into the, the potential of that big gapping earnings report. Um, kind of a dangerous gamble in my opinion, but watch that close. We continue to love it. Um, HP will be reporting today and um, WHR will be reporting today. Now keep in mind there are more notables. Make sure you click on that link, take you back to the morning blog if you want that full list of notables. Then let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can please continue to um, share this video out on your social media feed, you can click the, th the thumbs up button, leave that brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow and it's the engagement with the video that makes the difference in growing the channel it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks if there's a lot of engagement so thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that now let's take a look at a few stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys I think we're got to be really really careful this week a lot of data coming our way both earnings and economic could be a lot of uncertainty uh, moving forward. One of the things that I continue, a theme that just continues to play out here is this very strong gold position um, looking, uh, consolidating here and still holding very, very bullish silver continuing to hold out. We continue to see metals prices like steel, um, US steel, um, STLD, uh, steel dynamics, um, M. T um, doing extremely well. We continue to see quite a bit of uh, bullishness going into the energy sector. Take a look at XLE. We continue to press up here on that. We're going to test these all time highs here in XLE, and we're seeing stocks like Halliburton and Schlumberger and Valero and Exxon Mobil. They might be catching just a little bit of pullbacks in here, but they have been extremely bullish to the upside. And we want to watch that carefully because with the reopening or the um, COVID lockdown stuff going away in um, China, um, we see a lot more enthusiasm for growth over there, which means more um, more increases likely in energy. So watch that closely. Um, and then also take a look at stocks like uh, Uranium, um, CCJ, very, very strong here in this move, this big breakout. I was hoping for a rest or pullback here in this chart soon so I could catch another uh, or catch an entry into the trade. So far, just lots of bullishness in this sector. So again, um, that commodity um, material sector being very, very strong. So you could even look at stocks like XLB, XLB material sector, um, in that uh, interesting little pattern forming in here, um, where we might be finishing up this head and this second shoulder here in that chart. So watch for that next upside potential pop. Um, in the trade. So lots of um, lots of potential plays out there to be had. I would be a little bit careful with tech with all of the earnings reports coming this week. So just kind of 
maybe hold your breath and step back a little bit instead of racing into some of those big tech names in case they uh, disappoint. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.